Our first meditation is the garden. This grove of olives, this garden of Gethsemane, has always been a place to get away from the crowd. For centuries, a retreat for meditation and reflection. A cool place, perhaps in more ways than one. It's been wonderful since he came. We all knew who he was. Like you, we have ways of recognising the Holy One. And we, especially the trees, would shiver in anticipation at the sound of his footfall, knowing we would be party to his words of prayer and teaching. And we have learnt to love his followers too, though they, like us, are somewhat gnarled and ugly. Tonight is very different, even though we know he is coming. All evening, the olives have been tasting the air and muttering to themselves, sensing tension and dread, picking up the distant vibration of a crowd, of soldiers, of angry voices. But first, he is here. As always, we bow our branches in welcome and worship. But we are afraid. It might be for the final time. A marble block. Men made this place, this high priestly home, out of the finest of God's marbles. We are beautiful, carved, dressed and positioned. They say walls have ears. My, the conversations and discussions of theology we have heard. Some very important people have gathered here. We have listened to them all, of course, but we have never been in a position to join in the debate. It's not been easy to keep the faith under occupation, and we've heard all about that too. The challenge of keeping pagan hands away from all that is held holy and precious. Tonight, when we should be quietly anticipating the Passover, there is an emergency meeting. Urgent footsteps are gathering and placing themselves in rank order, and then a prisoner is brought in, roughly handled, and made to stand in the place of accusation. It is all we can do not to cave in upon ourselves. We know who this is. Why can they not see it too? Why can't they understand his silence? Why can't they interpret his presence? We can. The flagstone upon which he is placed gasps under the eternal weight of the Son of God. There is a green hill far away. 